I'm uh, going to replace the brake drums and calipers and brake shoes on this 1996 uh, Jeep Cherokee XJ. Uh, this caliper locked up on me, got really hot. I'm going to replace the hose too, just in case, because uh, it was very, very hot. And then, of course, we're going to need to bleed the brakes um, because the brake fluid, if it gets hot, um, it, it degrades its... Uh, uh, usefulness or um, makes it so it's not functional. Uh, recent comment on a video uh, was that I'm not a mechanic and uh, I guess I should put a disclaimer on my videos that I'm not a mechanic and um, you know I just like to work on my own cars and I hope that uh, my videos are of some help because I find YouTube videos to be uh, very helpful for me and so I'm just trying to pass that helpfulness along but uh, I definitely uh, I'm not a mechanic, and so, uh, you know, take take what I uh, post here as uh, guidance, but uh, not necessarily 100% reliable, and, um, you know, check all of your own sources and do your own research. Anyway, um, I posted a video of how to do the brake shoes and the rotors, so we're really just going to focus on the caliper. Um, so look at that video for how to get uh, the caliper off, the uh, brake uh, rotor off. Um, and then I'm going to disconnect uh, the caliper, which I showed in my brake line video for this very car. Um, so I'm gonna replace the hose so you can uh, see all of that in that video. This is the new caliper and uh, it comes with washers and that was a big problem when I was doing the brake lines before. So anyway, let's get started. I'll be taking off this uh, banjo fitting here. Uh, I'm just gonna go get a drain pan to drain the uh, brake fluid in. Then we'll have to bleed the brakes, but that's not that big of a deal. Um, but let's get this off. First of the day I want to do this. <clears throat> Got to be one of the most humid that we've had so far. Another criticism I've had about my videos is uh, not to wear a watch um, or a wedding ring, but my wedding ring is uh, one of those neoprene or whatever ones. Um, all right, let's see here what size this is. 14 millimeter. These bolts were 13. The bolts that held it in place. The banjo bolt is 14. Okay, I'm going to need to save the banjo bolt. Since I'm not saving the caliper, I'll just throw that in here. And I don't need the I don't need the clamps. Well, I was hoping that would stay in there. Well, let me get a paper towel. All right, next I'm going to get this uh, brake hose off and. Uh, We'll replace that. It's probably okay, but uh, I don't know. I just feel better replacing it. So we're going to disconnect this and then disconnect that. We know this is the correct side because it's just the same way. Like that. Right, let's try to get it not cross threaded. Let's start it by hand. Definitely don't want to cross thread this thing. Have to reflare the brake line. Now the other side, I won't be doing this. Just this side. This is something else I don't want to over tighten. That's good. We'll check it for leaks. All right. I'm gonna wait and install the caliper in a minute.
a little more brake cleaner. The caliper comes with a couple of uh, or washers. Um, so one will go on either side, the banjo bolt will go through. And the banjo bolt will connect right here. I just have to pull that plastic piece out. First, I'm going to uh, put some extra grease on these pistons. Um, these are what will help compress the brakes and uh, I'd like to put extra grease on them just to make sure they're good and greased up. Then we'll put the brake shoes on, making sure that we've got uh, you know, the right spacers in and I'll uh, hook up that banjo. Greasing these up is a good idea because there's definitely very little grease on them. I've got some caliper grease here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna put a copious amount on here. Put some in the, put some grease in the boot. And then we'll insert this back into the caliper boot. Very difficult getting these back in the boots. There's a ridge on the piston, and you want to get the boot to connect in that ridge. Here's the ridge in the piston, so you just want the boot to fit right up in there snugly. Let's get the other one. And these definitely glide a lot better than they were when they first came out of the box. So that's why I put the grease on. Other parts we'll grease up are going to be on the brake shoes right around here to help keep it from chattering. So I'm just going to wipe the excess off my fingers brake shoes out. I keep calling them brake shoes, but they're brake pads. Remember the double part goes on the bottom. Uh, these both are going to need a little bit. I'm going to clean the, uh, the rotor with a uh, brake cleaner. and that's pretty good. So I think we will go with that one. And then try the same size 0 0.15, 0.10 and try that one. Pretty small. Point one zero. It's probably the point one five. that's too much. So I'm going to put the point 010 back on. All right, that's definitely good. Not binding up. I just feel like it's chattering too much. Yeah, 
go with the 1.5. Okay. I think what I'll do is get the caliper in place and then we'll put the banjo bolt on. So I'm going to put a little bit of grease on the brake pad right here. Uh, we're definitely going to put some right here. And on this part. these new bolts in. Put those calipers down. Banjo bolt was 14. So now what I'm gonna do Bring the camera in here. What we're gonna do, this will go right here, the banjo bolt will go in, and the washers will go on either side of the banjo bolt here and here. So let me get the banjo bolt. So I've got a washer on top of the banjo bolt, a washer under the banjo bolt, so one on either side of this fitting. Then I'm gonna put the banjo bolt in and we'll tighten it down. That's 12 foot pounds. Now I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side. Replace that caliper too. We might as well while we're at it. Um, so the rotor and calipers are new on both sides. But uh, anyway, hope that was helpful. Uh, appreciate you watching. And uh, hope to see you next time.